Ladies and gentlemen, to honor America, Miss Aretha Franklin. Aretha, she's like unique, right? I mean, there's nobody who's like Aretha. I mean, the fact that she's from Detroit, you know, I grew up in this area near Detroit. I mean, in some ways it seemed like my hometown. So she always has spoken to me as an artist, but, and she has an amazing history with the anthem. I mean, she first sang it that I know about at the 1968 Democratic Convention, which was hugely controversial to have a black woman singing in a national political convention in 1968. And that convention was wrapped in its own political quagmire, you know, Vietnam protests, Students for a Democratic Society. So she was criticized for that version, even though I think it was a pretty straight ahead version. It was just Aretha. So Aretha is always going to sound like Aretha. It's always going to have that, that gospel flavor to it. But she did it hundreds of times in her life. She loved the Star Spangled Banner. She always said it was easy to sing, which is sort of amazing because everybody complains it's too hard to sing. For her, it was easy. And part of it is that um, she was a skilled pianist as well. So in this performance at the Detroit football game, she's accompanying herself. So she doesn't have to follow anybody else's pulse. She doesn't have to follow the beat. She is literally, you know, sort of massaging and shaping time as she performs. So she stretches every single gesture and says the word free multiple times. You know, it's really a, a celebration of the anthem, but her, you know, own artistic legacy and her own celebration of her musical identity, which sings through in that song.